Hey guys, Token Vaping. Um, today's flavor review is going to be a little different. As you can tell, I'm not wearing my uh, business hat. Um, this is a, a review that I'm doing as a favor request um, to help out uh, an Instagram vapor friend of mine, a um, friend of hers who uh, just recently started his own line of juices. Um, so that's for the lack of the hat and um, just a little bit of, of a different style. Um, my friend's name, her Instagram name, I'm not divulging personal information, that's not what this is about. Um, my friend's name uh, on Instagram is simply Sam3182. Now, she has quite a few followers, so most of you that are serious vapors, you probably are either already following her or you have at least seen a post from her or know who she is. Amazing woman, great friend, um, true vapor, uh, uh, hardcore supporter for the whole vaping community. So um, if you're not already following her, definitely give her a follow, a like, like her post, uh, hit her up. Um, definitely show uh, some uh, vape fan love and support. Um, her friend, uh, I'm assuming his name is Shane, but his business name on Instagram and Facebook is uh, Big Shane's Solutions. Um, he, uh, from what I've been informed, he has been a vapor for five years and started making his own juice line about three years ago. Um, he started making them uh, personally for himself and I guess just from word of mouth and having friends uh, sample it and try it out, um, he basically hit on something that a lot of people like so he started making it for uh, public um, consumption as well. Now, unfortunately, as with a lot of the the way that businesses are and things like that. Not everybody has, um, you know, the access to be able to do huge batches or um, working companies and things like that. So for right now, as far as I'm aware from what I've been informed from uh, Simply Sam, uh, he is specifically uh, sold in um, Dixie's Vapor Shop. It is a local vapor shop in Georgia. There are two locations that they have. One is in Kennesaw. The other one is in Calhoun. Um, I've obviously have never been there. Uh, I don't know the people, but from what I'm told, they are an amazing, uh, amazing group. Um, it is a family-owned and operated shop, um, so it, every, everybody is friendly. Everybody is from the area, so you know they are personable. They are friendly. They know people by name. They know them by faces. You know they know them by what they vape, what they like. Um, things like that. Um, in actuality, uh, I just want to give a big shout out real quick to Simply Sam, who just got hired on at the Calhoun uh, store, I do believe. So congratulations, girl. You deserve that. Um, now, with this uh, juice line, he there is two versions of this line. Um, if you check out the Instagram and you check out the Facebook, you'll see them both. One is going to be in glass bottles. The other one are in unicorn. Bottles. I believe the unicorn bottles are his original line that he started. Um, they retail, I believe, for around $16, give or take. I apologize. Um, like I said, this is all more of a just a word, uh, word of mouth type thing, so I don't normally, I don't have as much information on it as I normally do, um, which is, you know, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, he his original line are more, from what I saw, they're more fruit flavor based and things like that. Um, there, uh, I believe, in just the uni of the single unicorn size bottles. Um, like I said, they retail for about sixteen dollars. The one that I was asked to try out for this review um, is the newer, the new line that he came out with uh, in the glass bottles. It's a dragon line. Um, these retail for about twenty dollars at the shop. Um, there are five of them. Um, and they all are color based uh, red dragon, white dragon, green dragon, black dragon, and blue dragon. The two that I was uh, graciously um, provided with is the red dragon and the white, as you can see here. Now, the labels, um, these labels basically are just kind of copied. The actual labels on the bottles are legit, don't get me wrong. Do not for a second think that, like, where you see here and it's all fuzzy um, and it literally looks like it was basically just kind of copied. Um, the labels have been changed and updated, and from the newer ones that I saw, they actually look pretty slick. Um, 
but they are actually legit. They do follow, you know, the outlines that they need to. They have the warning label, the ingredient, the nick label, the nick level, sorry. Um, they do have the picture of the dragon, the name, and then uh, I believe the the new label is darker and it just has more of a graphic um, fantasy appeal to it, which is really, really cool. Uh, so, like I said, the two that I, I was given to try, um, if I can find the other one before I lose it. <laughs> or not. Um, the other one, I apologize about that, the other one is obviously going to be the red dragon, so it is in red with a red dragon. Now, I'm not sure what the nick levels are that these are offered in. I'm going to assume that they are at least a zero, a three, a six, and I'm going to say a twelve. Um, he can probably, since he does make them, he probably customs them to whatever nick level is requested, and he probably does make them in multiple levels. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is the only size that they're offered uh, at the moment, which, you know, it's a 30 mil bottle. It's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty solid size. Um, it does have the child safety cap, you know, glass bottle. He does invest the time and effort into making these of high quality. You know, he wants to match them up to, you know, the bigger names that are out there to show that he is for real. So, you know, props out to that. Um, these are... Uh, According to him, they are at least an 80 or higher uh, VG line. So he's definitely going for the heavier clouds. Um, the flavor is there, though. Now, I was a, I was a bit thrown off when I first uh, baked them because most of the most of the lines that I've had the honor of doing, um, when they go higher VG, it's it's a much smoother vape. Um, this line, he. He definitely has the throat kick in, in the juice. Um, it did throw me a little bit because it, it's, it is something that I'm not used to on a regular basis, so it, it did kind of catch me a little off guard, um, but it's not to the point of where it made me hack or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. Um, but the throat kick is there, so um, just so that you do know that up front. Now, normally you, you see me vape. The, the juice and I show you what it looks like which I'm going to do but you normally see me drip it into my device um, and I do that on purpose so that everybody sees that I'm actually using um, the juice that you know I was provided for the video however there was a, a, a slight little um, mix up in it and the red dragon bottle um, that was sent to me was in a six nicotine now I only vape a three so I didn't really catch it right away when I tried it, and the first couple of hits literally knocked me on my butt. Um, six mg for me is just way too much, so unfortunately, I, I can't do it for the video. So I had to cut it, and I promise you, this is the actual uh, Red Dragon juice. I did cut it with some Cloud Booster to tone it down a bit so that I could vape it comfortably. Um, the Red Dragon is a strawberry milkshake, which is why I definitely wanted to try it, because as most of you know, um, I am a strawberry I'm a strawberry fan. Um, the white is a peach, pineapple, and mango mix. Um, and then the other uh, three that um, is offered in the line is the blue dragon is a blueberry, watermelon, and cream. The green is a Baja Blast, so I'm going to assume it's more of like a tropical citrus style. Um, and the black is a raspberry cheesecake. So there is a, a, a little bit of a wide, a wide range of flavor in there. Um, so, you know, depending on what your your preference is, um, what your so what your style is, your palate and things like that. You know, there's definitely going to be something there. Um, now, as far as flavor wise, the white definitely has a more tropical taste to it um, with the peach, pineapple, and mango. However, for me, when I vaped on it, I don't know if it's because the like I said, the throat kick was a bit more than I was expecting. Um, I don't know if it was just um, my taste preference or palate, uh, the peach was the flavor that kind of took over the whole vape for me. Now, I like the peach flavor in a vape, don't get me wrong, so I did like the way it tasted. However, if you're if it's going to state it as a peach, pineapple, and mango, um, I was kind of hoping to might maybe get a little bit more of a mix of the three, you know, maybe part of it on the, on the exhale or the undertone of it, um, as such like that. However, like I said, the peach itself was just a, a little more uh, upfront and apparent for the rest of the flavor. Now, again, it's not a bad vape. It, it, the flavor on it was 
very good. It, it, it was a vape that, you know, I could vape on for a while. Um, it just, like I said, the only downside to it was just that um, the peach was basically all I tasted out of that. On the exhale of it, there were a few, a few hints of pineapple at the time, um, but unfortunately, me, myself, I just didn't get anything out of the mango aspect of it. Um, the strawberry milkshake, which is the Red Dragon, and I promise you, like I said, that's what this is. Um, I just, I don't think anybody really wants to watch me hack or, you know, nick myself out on camera, so it's just one of those things. But the strawberry milkshake itself, the inhale on it is very, very, very strawberry. Not very strawberry to where it's too sweet or it's too much, but it is definite strawberry. I mean, you, without even... If I didn't tell you what the, what the flavor was, I, I'm almost certain that that would be the first flavor you would pick out of it. Um, so I'm going to show you the clouds real quick on this. Like I said, I moved up a little bit, but vaping on 60. As you can definitely see, the clouds are definitely there. Um, it is pretty solid for for clouds. Um, so when you're vaping on it, it definitely gives you a, a very full vape. Flavor-wise, the the inhale on it is definite strawberry, and then I would probably say about halfway to a little past halfway is when the milkshake creaminess part of it uh, takes over, so that your exhale of it literally is all milkshake. So it does definitely have a creamy taste to that, um, but it's not creamy as in like a cheesecake or anything like that. I mean, you definitely have that that milkshake uh, style taste left in your mouth, which is a very good thing, actually. Yeah. Very solid. I mean, it's, it's, it's a definite solid strawberry milkshake. So, between the two, obviously, I would choose the Red Dragon, mainly because I am a strawberry uh, person um, by choice. Um, like I said, the white, sol it was a solid vape. It just, the peach just happened to be a little stronger for the rest of it, uh, as opposed to the pineapple and the mango. Uh, throw kick is definitely there, but like I said, it's not to the point of where it makes you hack. However, it just, it did throw me for a loop because most of what I have been vaping on lately has a smoother, uh, a smoother uh, exhale on it so that the throw kick isn't there as much. Um, the other three flavors, as I stated, um, the blue uh, blueberry watermelon cream for the blue dragon, the black dragons, the raspberry cheesecake, and the green is the Baja Blast. Now, without having tried any of them yet, I will say if they vape the way that these two do, it's a pretty solid line. Um, he's definitely done his homework on, you know, what what is uh, what is gonna make a decent flavor and to make sure that the flavor, and as well as the the smoke production on it, the clouds is definitely there together. Um, it's not too heavy in one and weak in another. Um, it's just more of a kind of just trying to find the right mix for the different flavors. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a juice maker. I have an idea of how to make them, but I don't make them, so it's not for me to judge. Um, this is just my personal uh, take on on what I got out of this. Um, I do know there is a lot entailed to the proper mixture, and that's why some, some lines hit it really well, some not so much. Um, but again, that's why I do what I'm doing right now, you know, is to let you know of ones that are better than others, ones that hit a certain point, ones that don't, you know, um, everybody needs a helping hand here and there, and I'm hoping that, you know, however small, whatever little bit extra exposure that this gives, um, Big Shane, um, you know, if it can help him out and get him, uh, get him, uh, more recognition, same thing with Dixie Vapor Shop, you know, more power to it, that's, that's what it's all about, you know, it's just love and support for the vaping community as a whole, um, and that's what it is, you know. Again, big shout out to my girl, Simply Sam. Um, I appreciate you reaching out to me and asking me to do this. Um, you know, it, it, it was a favor. It was fun. It was it was enjoyable. Um, it was worth it. Big Shane. Um, like I 
I said, man, you know, if keep up, keep it up. You know, if it's what you believe in doing and you and you and you feel that strongly about it, you know what? Keep at it, man. Um, the two flavor, like I said, the two flavors that I tried, pretty solid. You know, definitely the red is something is is one I could definitely see. I'd be interested to try to see if I can get a bottle in a three, um, so I, I don't have to cut it just to see how much of a difference there is in the flavoring. Um, but you know, other than that, it's definitely a solid flavor. So the rest of your stuff definitely sells. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm, I'm not an expert on this stuff too. But obviously, if Dixie Vapor Shop picks you up and is selling you in their shop, you know, obviously they see it as well and they know that it's a line worth carrying. So definitely, big props out to you for that. Um, again, guys, you know, definitely hit any of them up. Hit up my girl, Simply Sam, three one eighty two on Instagram. Check out Big Shane Solutions Instagram and Facebook. You can email them at BigShaneSolutions at gmail.com. Dixie Vapor Shops, like I said, if you're in the area in Georgia, Kennesaw, Calhoun, they're both there. Um, if you know of them or have met them at a convention or something like that, you know what, and if you order from them, you know, hit them up, try this line. You know, if nothing else, it's just helping further the community. Um, and just check it out, give it a shot. As always, Token Vaping, TokenVaping at gmail.com. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, hit me up. Um, if there's anything out there that you guys are interested in or if it's a review that I've done already, you know, check it out, subscribe, link, follow, whatever. Um, but honestly, you know, this is really what it's all about is just further support and love for the vaping community as a whole. You know, we just need to stay united, stay supportive of each other and just help promote, you know, positive vaping. Um, beyond that, you know, it is what it is. Enjoy it. Big Shane Solutions. I'm Token Vaping. Have a good night, guys.